although the process of sorting and organizing your pretzel rods or fortune cookies is rather easy, we thought this helpful video would make things go a little more smoother for you. So for this example, we are going to be demonstrating how to organize and sort your pretzel rods for your prepay pretzel rod fundraiser. Now if you did uh, sell the fortune cookies, well it actually is the same process, uh, but for this example we are going to uh, concentrate mainly on the pretzel rods, okay? So uh, when you turn in your orders to us, uh, you're simply going to go down here and add up the total number of pretzel packs that were sold. And uh, so when you go through all your order forms, you will add up that total and we will ship you the appropriate number of cases that you will need in order to fill your orders. So uh, for this uh, particular example, when the, all the orders come back, we're going to be looking at Mary Turner's order first to sort hers. And uh, it says here that she sold 10 pretzel packs. Well, there are uh, four different varieties of pretzel rods uh, in each pretzel pack. So if she sold 10 of them, then you are going to need 10 of the Reese's Pieces one, 10 of the uh, toffee one, 10 of the sprinkles, and 10 of the M&M uh, pretzel rods. So when the carriers, or the cases I should say, come in to your school, there are going to be four of these carriers per case. And there are exactly 15 of each one of these pretzel rods in every carrier. So all you're going to have to do is simply open up your carrier and you are going to pull out 10 of each one uh, to fill Mary's order. So simply enough, uh, you'll sit here and open up your uh, carrier. So it just pops open this little piece of tape here. All of this other stuff that's on top, you can just throw away. You will not need that. And so you're going to pull out 10. So uh, we'll pull out two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then you will stick those in the bags that we provide. So you'll have all of these bags and we'll be providing those and you simply stick those 10 uh, rainbow sprinkle pretzel rods in your bag and then you'll go on to the 10 uh, M&M and you'll pull out 10 of those and stick all of those in the bag and so forth until you got 10 of each variety. And then when you are done with that process, you're simply going to take Mary's order form and we always recommend sticking it in the back of the bag and kind of let it stick up just a little bit. And uh, when everybody comes uh, to pick up their orders, the students come and pick up their orders, all you have to do is sit there and say, hey Mary, here's your order. And you'll simply hand Mary her order and she will deliver it. So it's a rather simple process. Um, we do, by the way, recommend when you put the pretzel rods inside of your bag to put them in there uh, vertically because it's much easier uh, for Mary or for the students to see uh, which uh, pretzel rods they have. And so they'll make sure that they give their customers uh, one of each flavor because that's what makes up a pretzel pack. It is one of each flavor. One last thing that I just remembered I failed to mention, if a student sold exactly 15 pretzel packs, okay, if they sold exactly 15 pretzel packs, well, this process even got easier because you won't even need to fool with these bags because you're simply going to hand that student an entire uh, carrier. So if they sold 15, hand them an entire carrier. Obviously, if they sold 14, you are going to have to take well, four out of those and maybe hand them the carrier anyway with just uh, one less of each flavor of the pretzel rods. Whatever's easier for you. There's no rhyme or reason to it. We're just trying to make it as convenient as possible. Uh, on the flip side, if a student sold uh, 20 uh, uh, pretzel packs, then you're going to need to give them one full carrier 
all right? And then pull five out of another carrier and put them in the bags. And then you'll hand them the full carrier of 15 pretzel packs in here. And then a bag with the five pretzel packs in here, of course, along with uh, their order form, all right? So just wanted to add that uh, just in case uh, that scenario is probably gonna come up and we just wanna make it as easy as possible for you. So uh, anyway, I uh, appreciate your time, thanks.